Hey everybody, here's homework help for the Newton's Second Law Practice Problems set, um, aka the coffee worksheet. Um, we've got several equations that we know at the moment. Um, we've got weight, which is Fg equals Mg. We have Newton's Second Law, F net equals Ma. We know that um, FBDs are often vector problems, so we can say F net equals sum of all forces. And then finally, we know FF, or friction, equals the coefficient of friction times the normal force. Um, if you're trying these problems um, after we've done second law, but before we've done friction, then you can ignore this last equation for the moment, and you'll be learning that probably tomorrow in class. Um, but you should recognize the other three. Okay, so step one just wants you to practice drawing free body diagrams. Um, you should hopefully be pretty confident with this, and um, you can check the answer key as you do that. Um, number two asks you to take a look at the free body diagrams that are shown. Um, they give you the net force, and then they want you to figure out the forces that are unlabeled. Okay. So on number, um, or on the first one, we see that the net force is equal to zero. So that tells us that all the forces need to balance. Okay, um, that's the only way that F net can be zero. So if that's the case, then we know if we have 150 newtons down, then we must have 150 newtons up to balance that. And if we have 137 newtons to the right, then we must have 37 newtons also to the left to balance it. Okay. On the second one, they tell us that there's a net force of positive 900 newtons. So we're going to write our own equation. Okay. We're going to say F net equals, and we'll just call, um, or we'll just say C for the upward arrow. What, what happened there? C minus 180 newtons. Okay, so basically we've just taken this first force and subtracted the second force, and we're subtracting because that second force is down and the first force is up. Okay, and um, they told us that we have a positive 900 newton net force, and so we're just going to solve this like we would any other algebra. We're going to add 180 to both sides so that it will be, so that C will be by itself. And so we end up with a C of uh, 10,080 newtons. Okay, you have a third one on your page that you can um, take a look at as well see if you can get that one on your own all right and then number three um, says that we have an applied force of 50 newtons so they drew that in for us to the right it's accelerating an object to the right across a frictional surface so we know our object is moving to the right and there is also friction they tell us it's 10 newtons and so that's where our arrow to the left comes from um, and then it's asking us to solve for normal force, net force, mass, and acceleration. So we're basically trying to find everything that we can about this problem. Okay? Um, so we look at our diagram first. They provided it for us. We didn't have to draw it. Um, and so we see the FF and the FA. We see the FG. And then we see that there's a blank normal force. So we could start there. We know that our object is not falling through the floor and it's also not rising up. So that means Fn and Fg must equal each other. Okay, so we can put 73 newtons for Fn. Um, as long as the object's on a flat surface, you can pretty much always assume that normal force and gravitational force will equal each other. Okay, so um, there's one answer for us. Um, second question is to find the net force. So in looking at this, I can see that I've got vectors that are not the same um, horizontally, right? I have 50 newtons to the right, and I have um, 10 newtons to the left. So I'm going to use that sum formula to solve. Um, I'm going to write my own equation here based on the fact that the vectors are in opposite directions. Um, to the right is positive then I can say a positive Fa minus Ff 
should equal the net force, okay? So F net then will equal 50 newtons minus 10 newtons. And so I have a positive 40 newton net force, okay? So there is my second question. Third question asks for the mass, so we're going to use the gravity formula for that. Okay, they told us that Fg was equal to 73 newtons. Um, this box is on the earth, so 9.8 will go in for G. And then I'm just going to divide by 9.8 so that I can get M by itself. And I get a mass equal to... 7.45 newtons. I am rounding that a bit. Oh, a kilograms, I'm sorry, not newtons. Okay, so I've answered the third question. And then the last question is the acceleration of the object. And so I'm ha gonna have to use Newton's second law to solve for that, F net equals MA. So I can pull the F net from 40, right? That's what I solved for earlier. And then I can pull the mass from um, this, the third equation that I did, or the third thing I looked at. And then I can solve for A by dividing by that mass. And when I do that, I get an acceleration equal to uh, 5.37, positive 5.37 meters per second squared. Um, I always want to check and make sure, does my answer seem logical? And my object, it says it is accelerating to the right. So a positive acceleration makes sense. And I have now answered all of my questions. Okay, if you have already um, learned about friction, then you can go ahead and move on to four, five, and six on this sheet. Um, so if we take a look at number four, we have an 88 kilogram object, so we've got a mass, right, sliding to the right and encountering a friction force that slows it down. The coefficient of friction between the object and the surface is 0.15. Remember the coefficient is that funky little Greek symbol mu, okay? We want to determine the force of gravity the normal force and the force of friction, the net force and the acceleration. So again, we're basically finding everything there is to find, okay? So in a problem like this, you've got the picture. If you don't have the picture, then you would always wanna draw that first. And then you're just gonna work your way around the object trying to find all the forces that you can, okay? Um, so let's find the weight first because I know that Fg equals Mg and they told me that the mass was 88 kilograms. Okay, so I can do 88 times 9.8 to get Fg. And when I do that, I get an answer of 862.4 newtons. Okay, so there's my first question. Um, based on the fact that this is sitting on a flat surface and it's not falling through the floor, it's not rising magically up, then I know that normal force will also equal 862.4 newtons because they have to balance if our box is not moving up or down. Okay. Um, now, knowing the normal force, I can use the friction formula, which says friction force of friction equals the coefficient of friction times the normal force. Um, because they gave me the coefficient in the problem. And then I just calculated the normal force, which was 862.4 newtons. And so I can multiply those and get a force of friction equal to 129.36 newtons. Okay. So I've got that one, I filled in my whole diagram. Um, next thing I wanna do is answer the net force. Okay, so when you're looking at this picture, we see that normal and gravity are balanced, right? So we they sort of cancel each other out. But we also see that friction is unbalanced, right? And so friction is the net force in this case. It is the unbalanced force that's slowing it down, 
okay? And then my last question is to solve for the acceleration. So I'm going to use Newton's second law for that because that's the only one that has A in it. Um, I just said that the net force was equal to the friction, so that was 129.36 Newtons. They gave me the mass at the beginning equal to 88 kilograms, and I'm going to solve for A. So I divide by 88, and I get an answer of 1.47. And I'm going to make it negative because we know friction is slowing it down. Oops. Uh, 1.47 meters per second squared. And then again, that's a negative because it told us that friction was slowing it down. And technically, um, this friction force should be a negative because I drew it to the left. Okay, so these problems are very much like a puzzle where you're just trying to work your way around. You're finding whatever you can find. You will not always follow the same order but you have the four different formulas to choose from. Um, and it really, really helps if you start with a picture. As always, just see your teacher if you get stuck on any of